it's Mother's Day weekend. I have been looking forward to this day since we first started um, potting up all the seeds in the indoor greenhouse. We started in January, planted more in February and March, and here we are. It's a great weekend. It's a little overcast and rainy on and off, and um, that'll be good. It'll give the plants some moisture. It's also going to be about 75 degrees um, today from here on out for a couple of weeks. So it's a good time to get these into the ground. I'm gonna be working on getting the tomatoes, peppers, um, the herbs that we planted up for the medicinal and the tea garden, and then also plant up some uh, beans to get those into the ground. I am, um, we've planted a few other things and we'll do a garden walk a little bit later, um, but I just wanted to, to wish you all a happy Mother's Day for those of you that celebrate it. We'll also update you on the um, chicken coop that's been um, progressing along quite well. And um, so come along with me, let's, let's do some planting. So I already prepped the soil when I put in um, fresh soil into the beds when I was amending it. I put in just this um, Job's um, Organic. It's an all-purpose fertilizer. I just put a little bit in, followed the directions, sprinkled that in, stirred it all into the, um, each bed so that it's ready to go for planting. Just give the plants um, a little boost as they get into the ground. Let's get going. Mm -hmm. Okay, so peppers need to be planted. If I'm using the square foot garden, they, it's one per square foot. So I'm gonna see how many I can get in here. I might need to squish them around a couple of other places. I'm putting my hot peppers into this little area over here. Um, hot peppers being like the Tabasco, habanero, different things that way. And then in this one are um, uh, bell peppers, banana peppers, different things that way, okay? All right, so the peppers are all planted. I have 30 plants in here. I have some leftovers. I've advertised on um, Facebook. If you're local here in Bountiful, I do have a variety of peppers that are left over if you want them. They are ready to go in the ground. Send a message here on our channel. We have a Facebook page. You can uh, check that out there. And um, if you want them, we've got them, okay? They're for free, so come get them. Okay, I have the tomatoes all laid out. I've got quite a variety. The thing with tomatoes, these, because I did start them pretty early, you can see that they're really tall. So what we wanna do to help establish this root system is I'm gonna dig very deep. I'm gonna take them down as deep as I can and probably try to bury them up to um, this bottom leaf, if you can see here. Yeah, so this bottom leaf, I'm gonna try to bury them that deep just to give them a really good root base because um, they do get so big. I'll cage the ones in the front of the row and on the back, I will just use some um, garden twine to help keep them attached to um, the trellis here that we have and keep them growing up. I'm gonna be pruning these um, as, as I go. I want them to get a little bit taller. So I wanna focus all the energy um, at, at, with them growing up. So I, I'm taking off a couple of the lower leaf. Um, you can see I'm just pinching them off and that also allows um, airflow and sunshine and everything to get into these. Or tomato plants get pretty bushy and um, can get a little unruly. So I'm just gonna try to keep on top of them um, as I'm planting them and um, kind of prune just a little bit just to help, help them get a healthier start in the ground. <laughs> Welcome to Thursday evening. Mother's Day came and went, got away from us. Um, I did not get everything into the ground that I wanted to get into the ground, but that's what the weeknights are for, is to help us do that. So let's take a tour and um, I'll show you what's happening in the garden. Right here are our peppers. Um, as I said earlier in, the, in this um, episode, we've got a major variety going on. These are hots and these are some bell peppers and different things. I also planted some of the parsley um, here in the box. It's a great companion plant for the peppers. And so I'm hoping that it will um, 
just keep pests away. Um, it adds to the flavor of peppers as well, and so I'm hoping that, that it's gonna do what it's gonna do. I'm really excited about what's going on in our E, and so let me show you. I'll start over here. The lettuces are going bananas, um, as is the bok choy, um, our um, rapini. Um, the lettuce is, it's going to go fast because it's getting really, really warm here and it doesn't last very long. So we're going to be eating a lot of salads in the next couple of days um, to try to eat that up. And then the onions will stay and the garlic and the shallots and um, I'll plant around those. I'm not sure what's going to go in there yet, but I'll plant some things in there and then um, I'll um, do another planting of lettuces later so we can have some fall lettuce as well. The um, wrap or the rapini is bolting pretty fast. We haven't had luck with that this year, trying to get it just perfect when it's ready. And then, but here's my favorite part over here. Sorry. <laughs> Cameraman, get over here. <laughs> Look at this, you have to come down close. Our radishes are starting to come up. Can you see that? So we have a few of them. There's another one back there. There's one right here. Really excited about that. The carrots are making their debut as well. So yay, yay carrots and radishes. All right, let's continue down. The strawberries going on. And then this uh, um, beets here and cucumbers got put in on Mother's Day. Um, the beets are starting to get really bright. I've got red and yellow and, or red and gold beets in here. And then the cucumbers. Um, are already starting to blossom. I forgot to mention some of our peppers even have little flowers on them. Oh my goodness, it's so fun. And then the tomatoes. So they look a little spindly, they're gonna be okay. They are very strong, they're going to um, start producing. In fact, one of them I was walking through today, and let me see if I can find it. But one of them right here already has little tiny tomatoes. In the strawberries, I also put some herbs. I put some chives in one box. Um, I have oregano in this box and this box, I believe. Again, it's a companion plant. It's going to help um, add flavor to the strawberries and become a really nice ground cover as well for them and um, keep some pests off, hopefully, as well. So we're looking forward to that. Our last box, um, we have... Oops, sorry, kitty. The last box we have um, eggplant on the end here. Beans have been planted up against the trellis, both bush beans and climbing beans. And then in front is where the sweet potato plants went. And um, they'll just spread and kind of lay over the edges and do their magic. And then in the pots, I've planted flowers around the garden. Um, to try to help bring in some pollinators and, and different things that way. So I have a, a bunch of different varieties of that going on. In behind us, the grapes have just exploded. Um, really excited about what they're doing this year. And so we'll see what happens. But there's lots and lots of growth on them. You can see we're going to have a pretty good harvest, I think, of our grapes. So this is our third year of grapes. So this is the tea garden here. Um, it's a work in progress. We've got um, a couple of different bee balm coming up. I have just a regular bee balm, a lemon bee balm. I just planted a um, lemoncello bee balm, which is like a lime and lemon put together. And then I also planted um, some chamomile over here and um, stevia, 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 and oh, one other, oh, um, St. John's wort. I have leftovers of all of those and so I'm going to try to plant them around the house. Um, and then in here also will go some lavender, um, probably some basil, some uh, rosemary different um, herbs and stuff in here. But my two lavenders that I have did not survive the winter, and so I'll be replacing them um, around here. And then I'm also gonna be putting, I think, a couple of climbing rose bushes in here so that we can use the rose petals in the tea as well. Okay, so over here is our bed of peas that we did, peas and carrots, and then just some leftover lettuce, and a few more 
of the radish is right here and I'm letting a few sunflowers um, hit that corner. They're doing really good. They are, I've got the um, climbers in the back and the bu push, <laughs> bush peas in the front and then carrots in front of that. And i um, quite pleased with how everything is going. The potatoes, oh, first let's go. Here's our um, raspberries are growing fantastically. I'm really excited about that. We have another one over here that's starting to do its little growth. So that's pretty happy. And then in front of the hollyhocks over here, I did um, oh, Swiss chard. There's a couple of different varieties of Swiss chard and then red cabbage and white cabbage. And then these are our potatoes. And as you can see, I need to get some dirt and start mounding it around. We want that to continue growing and giving the potatoes a place to start um, going into the ground. So that's a, a weekend project. We've got dirt ordered for that and um, just waiting it. One of the biggest hurdles that we're getting so close to finishing <laughs> is the chicken coop. Eric has worked so hard. So the coop itself is so, so close to being done. The inside is done. The nesting boxes are in there. We've got a great barn door that's been put on. He's building the back of the nesting box for us um, this week. And then um, we'll put up the, why can I never think of what's that called? Hardware. The hardware, yep. We'll put up the hardware. I think we're going with a quarter inch on that. And so we'll put up the hardware. It's hardware fabric. Oh, it's hardware fabric. Yeah. Hardware fabric. Hardware fabric. <laughs> it's an oxymoron. <laughs> it is, okay. Well, anyway, we're gonna put that up. <laughs> and then um, we're going to try to blend our baby chicks with our big chicks. And that's a process, so we'll probably do a whole video just on that. Um, thanks for joining us here at the Bountiful Farmhouse. If you like what you see, please subscribe. If you have any comments for us, I'm always up for learning. So if you see anything that, <laughs> that I'm doing that I shouldn't be doing, please let us know. Um, again, one last shout out and plea, please, 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 if you want peppers or tomatoes, please come get them. I do not want them to go away. So thanks for joining us.